In this video, we'll learn how you can override API responses based on certain conditions, whether it's request data, status code, or other factors. Let's take a look. When you start Requestly, go to HTTP rules and select the option to modify the API response. Let us enter a meaningful name, modify API response based on conditions. In this case, we will select the REST API option, and we can define the target API URL condition. Then, we select the dynamically modified option indicating that we want to serve a specific response based on a condition. Here, we have access to detailed information about the request and response, including method, URL, actual response from the server, type of response, and the request headers. At this stage, you can define your target conditions. Let me just write some code for you. Then I can set a condition such as if the request status property matches something. In response to this condition, I'll make another call using XML HTTP request instead of fetch, because I require a blocking call. In this example, I've set a simple dummy request and you can define your own endpoint. After sending the request, if the status code is not 200, we log the error. Otherwise, we log a successful response from our endpoint and then return the appropriate response. You can take this rule and try it in your setup. We hope this helps. Thank you.